Hey guys, welcome back to Super Sweet Gaming. I am Lincoln, and we are playing Phoenix Point today, and we are going to be um, defending another Disciples of Anu Haven. And we are all ready to go, so once we deploy. So we are at a high threat level. They've got a, a little bit more of an advantage on the attacking force. So that could mean that they may, there may be new enemies. Or there may be a couple of sirens, like the last time. Hopefully, the, if there are, they won't be together. Because that was four of our soldiers mind-controlled last time. It was a little bit scary. A little bit scary. Right, so let's see. Oh, it's, we've got quite a bit of low cover. So we should be able to spot enemies fairly easily. We've got a Kiron. So we just need to go and kill that. Uh I'll get you to jump over there. Let's see if we can spot anything else. Right, we've got a, an Arthron and a Triton. Okay. So let's get you in there. Just hide a little bit, because there's not much more you can do. You can run as far as you can, which <clears throat> isn't very far, <laughs> but you're, you're, you're Part of the team, that's all that matters. Right, let's get used to jump. Let's try this. Let's try and get everyone as close as possible. Especially for that um Kiron. We need to kinda of destroy it. So it looks like it's one that will Moving now. start throwing worms at us. Fireworms, maybe. Not sure. Yeah, let's war cry. That reduces their action points to two. Let's get you dashing a couple of get you to dash a couple of times, maybe. See how many will points you've got. Cause that was four. Yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> okay, let us get you here. Let's see. Taking aim. That was good, that was good. Fair enough, they went invisible, but that was a good strike. Oh, we need to actually sort your equipment. Why do you have it? Remember last time, noticed that they had the same two. Maybe I thought that I, I actually put on shotgun and I didn't. It's the only thing that I can think of. <clears throat> Maybe I thought I equipped him with a shotgun. Um, now I am wondering if I get you to go here you'll be able to shoot. You are kidding me, can you not step out? Like really? You surely should be able to step out and see him, right? That's how it works. No? Oh well, we've disabled an arm, so... It works. Executing. Alright, so we've, we've injured two of them, <clears throat> which is good. And we're going to go after this Kiron as well. And there's the damn siren. And there's the damn mind control. Okay, it does look like fire worms. Oh no, it's not, it's poison worms. 
Okay, let us have a look at what we can do. I want to get you as close as possible. Let's go. Right, let's go there. Now you could war cry at the end, which is fine. And we'll could move you here. Moving to position. And then hopefully taking action. Throw a grenade and take some armor off, maybe. Ah, sixteen armor down. That's not bad. <clears throat> right, you can work cry. I wonder if we can use work cry twice. It takes it down to zero. Maybe not. Fine, just move, move up. Now with you, hmm. Like, do we just go after that, or do we deal with? Do we deal with these? Right, let's deal with these. Ready to fire. Or not. <laughs> okay. Anything else we can do? No. Okay, so you've not got an arm anymore. Do you have a med kit? Now let's get you healed up and then you can use a grenade. And that should hopefully kill the Arthron. Now let's see. Hmm. Not great. I'm wondering if we should maybe oh see if we go closer it's going to mind control us. This is a problem. Let's do this. <clears throat> Another sixteen armor. Now. Yes, yeah, so he says reduce two two. Well, what we can do is we can definitely give it a go and see what happens. Ah, oh, we weren't close enough. Never mind. Or maybe we were close enough, but because they've already been affected, that could be what it is. I kind of knew that was going to happen. Right, so we definitely need to take care of the siren now. And I'm glad you're using well, the pistol is a bit inaccurate, so that's fine. <laughs> guess it's my turn. You guess it is your turn. Can you get in a good enough position? No? <laughs> Right, what we'll do... Ah! <laughs> we could reload, but that takes us charge. Okay, gonna have to. Why would you let me...
Right, now... I want you to move up here. You should be able to melee. Hey, come on. There you go. Strike. That's it. That's how you do it. Right, now... If you were to... Oh, I was hoping to get you in there. <clears throat> to get some of the will points, but nope. Now. You could dash. Sure. I want to get that closer. Let's have a look at... Oh, you've only got 12 will points left, so you can't control <clears throat> all of us and keep all of us. You might be able to, because I've got well, I've only got four will points. Right. Do I have anyone else? I've got two. You're useless. <laughs> Right, we've got will points added, which is good. So that means it would take a lot more will points to mind control us. Now. I'm thinking about moving here. <clears throat> thinking about moving there, shooting, and then getting more will points from the supply crate. Now, should the shotgun be better? Identifying target. Ah, not bad. Not great, but it's not bad. Here we go. <clears throat> Right, let's see what he's going to do. Oh, he's going to use med kit. Better him using the med kit though, than using the hand cannon. <laughs> right, so the biggest threat obviously as as uh, um, Siren. That was nice, that was good. I was lucky. Don't you dare, you've got a shotgun. <laughs> Zero damage, fine. <laughs> I'll live with that. Okay. Let's see. You can take two shots. One, right in the face. Disable the head. That's what we want. Definitely what we want. Let's get you here. Nothing, nothing there that you can really use. We really need to get you some more weapons because you're a bit useless. <laughs> What kind of bleed do you have? <clears throat> 30 bleed but 74 health, so let us oh we could just do that. Bash it. And we'll get closer to the Kiron. Try and do something. May as well just Oh we could rally the troops. We've only got... Right, we'll leave that now. Can maybe use that next turn. Do 
year, 100 poison. Are they panicked? Is that why they're running? No way. Oh no, you've got 90 poison. You've only got 78 health left. No! No, I don't want to lose you. Surely not. Oh, no. Hey, the plan is to try and help you. Five by five. Costs one action point. Um, okay. Oh no! I can't do anything else. No choice but to keep going. I know there is no choice but to keep going, but really, come on. Hey, right, we might be able to just Steady. do that. <laughs> And then run away a bit. If I, can find cover. Uh, I think we're just going to have to lose. Um, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. I'm going to lose our Berserkar heavy. <clears throat> Let me do it. <laughs> But wait a minute. I'm on my way. On the move. Wait a minute. I think we can do this. Yeah, I think we can totally do this. This should make you feel better. Oh. Oh. Honestly. Yeah, can we get you here to like, you know, run? <laughs> but what you can do actually. Is that? Oh, I'm so happy. Wait, no. Hey, that's all we can do. Whew. This one might be trying to retreat. Oh no, it's not. It's just moving to fire. <laughs> so we're gonna have to take care of some of these. Um, yeah, but you should be okay now. We've oh, got four virus. That's virus. That's okay. You're fine. It takes will points away. The virus takes will points away. It'll take four will points away next turn. It can cause panic. Why can't we move? For some reason we can't move. Okay. However, let us... Do have a grenade? Don't. Could you possibly move there? And five by five. Did you give him a grenade? No, you don't want to give him a grenade. 
Okay, you're gonna have to take... What? Right, how come you... Yeah, but I want... Nah, I don't want that. I want that. Is that not working? Do that. Huh? I can't do the opposite way around. That's not good. That's so wide. Target missed. <laughs> Hey, we might just retreat back a little bit away from them. What if we use armor break? So that deals an additional 50 shred damage. How's that? Oh, that was only 40. <clears throat> I don't know. Need a better position. Here goes nothing. <clears throat> and you don't have enough will points. But we can recover. And we've got John back. Damage the leg. It disabled the leg, so that's good. Right, let's hope that there's two funnels. Oh, the poison that's really um, dangerous. <laughs> Can you run back? Uh, and do you have a medkit? Oh, so you could do it diagonally. Ah, I didn't realize that. Moving out. So just to let you know, medkits do not. Um, recover virus. Right, you've got. But you had a grenade. Oh. Well, let's do that. Yeah. Well, at least that's like two or three of them gone. That's better. Uh. <clears throat> well, we are getting there. Now I think we just need John to move up a little bit. And John should be able to finish this off. Preparing to fire. Nice. Hey. Uh, Give me a minute. Hey, so it's just the worms now. Worms are all we need to take care of. I see it, I see it. Don't worry. Let's take care. <laughs> Got a visual. 
Got a visual. Okay. Let you blow it apart, we can see more. <laughs> hey, so who else has you do? And then we might be able to use the boom blast. And then we should be able to Yeah, okay, we'll damage some of the equipment. But I'd rather damage some of the equipment and take care of three worms <laughs> and hopefully finish the mission. There we are. Done and dusted. Well, no levels up just there. And, and luckily enough, we did not lose anyone. Almost dead. Almost dead. Had the ability not been there to rally the troops, um, we would have definitely lost that soldier. So, something to remember is that abilities are so important. You need to learn how to use them. You have successfully defeated all hostile forces. The leader of the Haven is grateful for your help. So we're raking it in now with the materials, which is really good. Right, let's... You want that, you want that, you want that. Done. Done. Oh no! We've got another layer. So obviously there was an attack around this mist, so that's where the attack's coming from. Our other manticore will be ready in three days time and we do have more mist outbreaks appearing. So what we were doing waiting on this area scan because we wanted to get... So that's quite a distance, we want to get across here very quickly so we're hoping to find more unexplored sites. Right let's... Let's actually go and heal up. We can maybe start thinking about um, recruiting some more soldiers, actually. A disciples of Kanyo Haven is under attack. We're, un <laughs> We're unfortunately not going to make it in time. The attacking force is 16, they're already more than halfway, <clears throat> and we have to go all the way around to get there, we're never going to make it, so unfortunately, as much as it pains me, we're going to be losing that one. Maybe we should have um, manufactured the Manticore a lot earlier. Right, this is something that's just gonna happen. Oh, is the reason why you're not healing up? Is this not a healing base? Do you not have... You do have a medical base, so... Oh. Joking me, because it's not turned on. You idiot. The <laughs> scan is complete. Let's go up here. Unfortunately, there wasn't much we could do to get there in time. We have received multiple reports of flocks of birds flying in strange repeating spiral patterns. They persist in doing so until death from ex exhaustion or malnutrition. Unfortunately, we have been unable to locate a specimen to examine, so we cannot determine whether this anomalous behaviour is a result of Pandora virus infection or not. Okay, we can get here and we can start an area scan. Oh no, right, again. Again, again we've lost that one. Ah! Why? 
Okay, so our operatives have discovered an abandoned Phoenix Project facility. The facility was part of the Phoenix Project's short-lived astronautics program, which ended with the disastrous Phoenix 2 mission to the moon. The site was converted into a storage bunker in 1992 and appears to have been remained untouched since some point in the early uh, 2000s. All available resources have been recovered. Despite its history, this place is really a little more than a warehouse. We really need to take care of a lair. Uh, approaching the burned out husks of a new Jericho convoy, our operatives are suddenly startled by a shout from a rudimentary shelter dug out uh, under one of the burned vehicles emerges a battered new Jericho technician waving his arms and laughing. Exhausted by the ordeal yet deeply grateful the survivor offers to join the Phoenix project. Well that gives us a free technician so yes let's recruit him. This month has not turned out the way I expected it, he comments as he sits down in the manticore one wiping dirt from his face. Nice. We'll have a look at that in two seconds. Let's see what else we can find. We really, we really need to get um, 24 hours until the manticore, so that's good. What we can do is actually have a look at building another satellite uplink. We're okay for food, we're okay for living quarters. What else do we have? We've got containment. We're not exactly ready for doing that just yet, I feel. But we may as well build it, right? So how much is that? To May as well build it, because then at least we've got it. Okay, here we go. Now we're getting somewhere to, you know... Let's maybe hopefully find a base. A Sinegian satirist and Mac. Toka has been causing diplomatic problems by writing a series of increasingly popular songs about the disciples of Anus. <laughs> the disciples demand an end to these insults while Sinedrian cite their own unwavering dedication, freedom of speech. Let's side with the disciples of Anu since that's who we're going with. After several heated meetings, the satirist agrees to stop performing and distributing new songs, although the previous ones will remain available. While opinion is divided, most Sinedrian citizens see this development as deeply troubling. Right, so it looks as though we now can access a lot quicker to this side of the map. Unfortunately, we didn't have that ready a <laughs> um, while ago. Oh no, that's a Sinedrian one destroyed. Mist is spreading fast. Ooh. Right, let's get your deployment at Phoenix Point. Let's have a look at Manticore 2. Which has nobody in it just yet. Personnel. So you could put this... Oh, that's at the Sines Memorial Base, right. Well, well, let's go there. Right, we've got a soldier, right? An assault. Assault's good. It's another assault. So let's go and take that one. Right, we've got a scavenging site. So this is what we're doing next time. Bit of a longer mission. Eh, a longer mission. A longer episode this time, but. Yeah, we've done a bit, a bit of exploring in that 
mission took us a wee bit longer, the defence mission. And we do have another um, Manticore, which is good. I feel as though we might need another one. I think we're going to need about four or five. I think we should go for four. So, we could even manufacture another Manticore when we've got the materials. Or, we could possibly... See, we could steal the aircraft. So that's a decision to make. Right, let's get everyone ready. So you have some training. Right, what's this? Rapid clearance. Recover two action points for each enemy killed until the end of the turn. Okay, but I don't think that's going to be passive. I think we're going to have to use will points for that. But we'll take it. Thirty percent bonus damage with a twenty percent decrease on accuracy. Eh, we'll leave that now. <laughs> we'll take some more speed. Are you the one that has? Yeah, you are. Maybe, maybe that's what I was meant to do. That looks a bit better. Yeah, what would the difference be? Just leave that. Right, John, you've not trained. You don't have enough. Disabled body parts remain functional, cannot panic, or be mind controlled. Oh, right, we're definitely taking this one. And everyone's becoming a berserker. <laughs> um, right, we're maxed out. So let's get your hit points up. See, is there anything that we can give you? We could give you a... Uh, Goliath, the possibility. So what we can do is we can take that off. Oops. We could move that along. But do we really want that? Let's take that off. No. And let's give you the Goliath. An ammo. I think that's that's good. Stock you up with some ammo and uh, we'll leave that on. Get you some world points. Right. And you can have ready for action. Right, and there we go. Close quarters. Let's get you moving up a, a lot quicker. Let's just steal some of them. Now, is there anything else that I could give you? Like, maybe give you a pistol? Because the rifle's not going to do you any good. So maybe a pistol? What if we move that? Right. Do this. There we go. And you are fine. Just get you some more ammo. 
to everyone else but ammo. <laughs> right, and everyone's ready. So we're going to deploy this on the next episode guys, but thanks very much for watching. If you've enjoyed watching me playing um, Phoenix Point and want to see more, please subscribe.